Hello and welcome to the final episode of Breaking Point that I'm going to record tonight. Not the final episode. This is like episode three, I believe. Should be three, could be four. Maybe it's five. I'm not really sure at this point. I gotta combine two, uh, two of the ones I recorded because I had to stop the recording and restart it and blah, blah, blah. You get the point. This could be three or four or five. I'm not really sure at this point, but we're gonna continue. I've liked this a lot so far. Chapter 3. The recent series of incidents with his teammate, Casper Ackerman, both on and off the track, have marred the start of uh, Aiden Jackson's rookie F1 season. With the French Grand Prix coming up, Jackson is keen to find the form that brought him so much success in F2. This is two months after the Chinese Grand Prix. It's that time once again, the final before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn eight. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape at. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Racing Point underperforming somewhat. The two Racing Point drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat, and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Giovinazzi, Grosjean, George Russell and Aidan Jackson, Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. Sorry about that, I really wasn't paying attention there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that car setup. I already can barely control this thing, so we're gonna stick with the regular. <clears throat> oh, whoops, gotta do this. But, and it's lights out, and away we go! Oh, I made a collision. What? Okay, you need to get that position back. What was illegal? I mean, I'm gonna do a flashback because I don't know what the hell was illegal there. Gurjo, alright, let's flashback. There was the car there. What was illegal about that? I went up the middle. What is illegal about that pass? What did I. What is illegal? Okay, we can give it back. We can get it back now. Right, get it back now, y'all. Okay, I need some room. Thank you. Thank you. We're in the points. We'll head after Alcon now. We are fast, by the way. Feeling pretty spicy today. Damn, I actually am getting blocked the shit out of right now. If he comes over there, he's getting racked. I hope he knows that. Oh, well, he's not going. He's going to let me have the spot. What is our goal? Beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. <clears throat> Yo, I'm going to win the fucking race. Okay. 
Okay, I wasn't prepared for that to turn to be the way it was. The braking assist just aren't there anymore. It's okay, we'll get back in line. Not a big deal. Come on, Seb. Ow. How did I get no damage? How am I getting no damage? You know, now we've just got to catch Science and Ricardo. We're good. Apparently, I have no damage. I don't get how I'm not getting damage here. Ooh. I don't think I have damage, at least. I do not. Somehow. Must be unreduced. That would make more sense. I mean, I should have definitely been. I don't know. Okay. No one ever said I had to be clean. Yo, get off me, man. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, watch your jet. Uh, watch your jet. Yo, he's fast as fuck, boy. Hey, yo, why are we actually fast as fuck, though? Yo, yo, I'm about to get to podium here. I'm about to get fast as lap, too. In a fucking racing point car. Can you imagine? Ex especially here. I feel like this is too easy, but who cares? Let's see what lap time we hit. Uh, 141. I right, went straight to me. Let's go, baby. Went to Aiden Jackson. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, the fact we're catching McLaren is insane. He's got DRS as well, but... Still insane to me. For staff and leads, Hamilton second. Had a three tenths off my best in that sector. So I just have to run this whole race, I'm assuming. I don't really know, but I guess that's all you gotta do. Well, that would make sense. You just gotta beat Renault and McLaren drivers today. <clears throat> <clears throat> but uh, it looks like this game is pretty easy for me, even on the medium difficulty. I don't know why. I'm making a great run into this corner. Got a pretty good run down the front stretch. And we're going to get DRS as well. Wait, do we have to DRS in the front stretch? Guess not. We're approaching the bed window. You'll be on the medium. But Hamilton. Hamilton. I got bump draft in an F1. Never thought I'd say that. Anything like that's not illegal. I mean.
Making a great run here. Can we get to the inside? We are to the inside. And Lewis is going to give us the spy. Crossover move, maybe, but we've got it. We are just so good today. I right, just run our race. Oh my god, I went white as shit. Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down the place. No, we haven't lost yet. Over Staffen falls, or drop goes to second. God, there's an ant crawling on me, and it's making me itch. Like, oh, there's multiple ants, actually. That's just fantastic. Alright, now that tires are wearing, I'm starting to get noticeably slower. Oh my god, I'm sorry, there's ants crawling on my arm, for whatever reason. Make my ass itch. <laughs> They're kind of training behind me, I think, to keep up, but I mean, I'm pulling back away again. If I keep doing this, I won't be, though. What the hell? Okay, I keep butchering a few corners, but other than that, we're good. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Yeah, we're gonna blame it on that. Boxing this lap. Okay, so we need to get as much of a lead as we can. Ain't no denying that. It's above a second, so I think he saw his DRS. Oh, damn. Does it end up mattering? No, not really. So is Votas pitting? No, he is not. Votas is not pitting. So, okay. Go, go, go. So it looks like seven cars. Stay that on track, maybe more. No, we're pretty far back if they there was any more. Why are you racing me like a bitch? I'm your teammate. Fuck. Sorry, I was scratching my foot. This is gonna put a nice gap in between me and Hamilton, though. Mr. Second Place Hamilton. This is gonna do good for me.
Oh shit, I gotta catch Lando. I mean, he's gonna pit, so that's not exactly an issue, but I still have to get him. I just want to challenge at this point. I am bored. Running around in shit, not circles, but why it feels like circles. Because I don't have anything else to do. He made in the pits. Casper is in the pits. Casper uh, what do you know? Everyone's pitting. Even Botas, who is now coming off the road, I believe. Boat. I thought Botas was gonna say what I was saying, but he's gonna still be in third. He might even be in fourth. And now he's still third. I think. I'm sure. Oh shit! I need to regive that and do that. No, I don't want that. Mm -mm. They start catching me all the time, I can't have that. You know, I'm really not speaking, but, but yeah, I don't really have much to say, I'm just concentrated. Really, game? <laughs> I, mean, I saw the fast laps, I don't care. Oh my god, I have like a 10 second lead, I just don't notice that. I could probably spin my ass out and not lose my time. Well, I lost a bunch of time there because of the game, but that's fine. I consistently keep having the fastest sector one, which makes no sense to me, but okay.
closing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. I don't really know what anyone will want me to say. It's so boring. I'm just just running laps. I'm so far ahead at this point. I can literally spin my ass out and nothing would matter. I almost physically can't lose it at this point. I'm gonna have two laps to go. With my sleepy head ass. Because I am very tired. That's probably why I'm not talking much. But, yeah. Two laps to go. First race we've actually had to run the whole thing on, but with my god, have we dominated. We started by 18th, had an amazing ass start to the race, drove through the field. I'm, gonna, I'm probably looking to get the win here. Yeah, well, let's see if we can hit best lap again. Yes, sir. Six tenths faster. being kind of old like they are now, they felt nice. And I have a 16 second lead over Hamilton. 30 seconds over Ricardo. I don't know why the fuck I want to go to McLaren at this point. I mean, damn, I'm going too good here. Here we come, final stretch, and we've got it. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. I don't think that was supposed to happen, but whatever. <laughs>
Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. Racing Point's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the veterans of the sport. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. They called me mid-packies, even though I won the race. Yeah, I didn't run anywhere near mid-pack that. Pretty much the entirety of that race. So I don't know what you're smoking, F1. Let's have your thoughts. Congratulations, you got on the podium. It's a fantastic result for both you and the team. Yeah, it's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? I reckon so. I'd say the result today shows I can handle an F1 car just as well as an F2 one, no matter what people say. I think the team would agree with me. So there's no current tensions within the team? We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Appreciate your time. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there, and I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. I swear it was Brian that called me at first. But okay.
Not going. I'm not reading these like I said. Y'all can do it. That's why I left it on their phone. And we'll do rewards and then we're in the video. Yep, we know. Coastry and Brian, yeah. Alright, well that's going to be the end of this one, and I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. I probably want to record another one tonight. Uh, so yeah, but I'll see you in the next one, and peace out.